gunmen have been shot dead after they opened fire outside a conference on cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in a suburb of Dallas, U.S. police say. A security guard was also injured. Police sealed off the Curtis Colwell Center in Garland and evacuated participants. The event, organized by a group critical of Islam, was offering a cash prize for a drawing of the Prophet. Dutch anti-Islamic politician Geert Wilders was among those attending. He tweeted that shots had been fired and he had safely left the building. Coming up is local news from Pusani FM with me, Esther So. For the first time in Busan, a project to build apartments through a private-public partnership is moving forward. The Busan Metropolitan Corporation will be in charge of providing a building location and project oversight, while a private construction company will be in charge of construction and hiring workers. Busan City and the Metropolitan Corporation plan to build 4,500 homes on a trial basis, and of these homes, 2,400 will be in Kijang District, and 2,000 will be in Gangseo District. Busan City and Busan Jung District Office decided to create a beauty tourism street around Jung District. Its aim is to attract foreign tourists around the Busan Port International Passenger Terminal. Busan City and the District Office expect that if the port for cruise ships in the International Passenger Terminal opens this July, the number of cruise ship tourists will increase. Beauty-related businesses in Chung District, Chung District rather, including Kwangbongno, Nampudong, and Chungangdong, will be designated as specialized beauty businesses on Beauty Tourism Street. Busan City began selling reserved seating tickets this month for the Busan International Fireworks Festival. The fireworks show, which takes place in October, has become a signature event for the fall in Busan. The city is also looking for ways to broadcast the festival live to 130 countries. Seo byung su the mayor of Busan, hosted a meeting with city officials to discuss plans to revitalize tourism in the city during the fireworks festival. And officials came to a decision to sell two types of paid seats for the fireworks show, and these seats will be priced at 100,000 won and 70,000 won, respectively. Kim Gi Hun, the mayor of Ulsan, held a special lecture at the Busan City Hall aimed at promoting communal advancement, friendship, and mutual cooperation between Busan and Ulsan. An official from Ulsan City said Kim will give a special presentation titled The New Future of Ulsan and Busan before the eyes of 700 public officials from Busan. The presentation will begin at 10.30 a.m. at the Busan City Hall on May 6th. Prior to the event on May 6, the mayor of Busan, Seo byung su has visited Ulsan and gave a special presentation titled The Age of Coexistence. The presentation was delivered to, 100, er, delivered to 500 public officials at the Ulsan City Hall on the 27th of last month. Busan Content Market, an event for buying and selling various broadcast programs, will be held from May 7th to May 9th at Bexco. The opening ceremony will be held at the first exhibition hall at Bexco at 5 p.m. on May 7th. The mayor of Busan, Seo byung su who is also the chairman of the Busan Content Market Organizing Committee, said a large number of people from foreign and domestic broadcasting industries will participate in the ceremony. Actor Chang Yuk and actress Nam Gyuri, the honorary ambassadors of the content market, will participate as well. According to the organizing committee, 461 companies from 46 countries will participate, and in total, 1,028 buyers and sellers have registered for the event. The organizing committee for the Busan International Finance Center, or BIFC, said, that 3,500 citizens had visited its 63rd floor observatory on May 2nd, which is last Saturday. People who had come to visit the top floor observatory started to line up even before 10 a.m. and the BIFC AMC was opened at 11 a.m., which is 30 minutes ahead of the scheduled opening time. About 1,000 people have visited the building on the first opening day of April 25th.
Over 500,000 citizens of Changwon signed a petition to raise the status of the city to metropolitan city. The Citizen Committee for Changwon City said the number is about 70% of their goal. The signatures have been collected over the last five weeks. The committee said they, they, they tell people reasons why the city should be made into a metropolitan city and what changes it would bring. And now for the weather. Skies will get cloudier throughout this afternoon in Busan, Ulsan, Changwon, and Gyeongnam. Dense fog along coastal and some inland areas is expected, so please be extra careful when driving near these areas. The estimated highs in Busan is 25 degrees Celsius. It is currently 24 degrees here in Busan. That wraps up this hour's news. Thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.